Hi, I'm Andrew McMurray from Zaki's, and I'm here to talk to you about our Super Cult Saturday tasting. Now, as you've seen over the last couple weekends, we've been flexing our muscles and showing what Zaki's is capable of. And we pride ourselves in having one of the most premier selections of wines from around the world. Certainly, you can't leave out California, and we haven't gotten to the California cult until this weekend. Now, I've got notes with me because I gotta look down and see because the, what we're doing this Saturday is so spectacular and so out of the norm that I wanna make sure that I get it 100% right. So let me go down the lineup of what we're, we're tasting through and I think you're gonna be amazed when you see what we're doing. We're gonna be starting out with three different white wines, you know, from crisp and refreshing uh, Napa Sauvignon Blanc from, from 2880. We wanna, we wanna build you up, we wanna get you progressed in it so you can see from stages and levels just how great this all is that we're gonna be tasting. We're gonna be working our way up to the wines of Paul Lotto. Uh, Paul is, people refer to him as the, uh, the American dream in California winemaking, was a self-trained uh, sommelier, went out to the Central Coast, uh, met Robert Parker early on in his career, and is arguably making some of the finest shards and pinots from the Central Coast. Then after that, we're gonna work our way up to, to Gandona, uh, which is a very exciting spot right up on Pritchard Hill. 80-year-old Terrace Vines. Uh, Pritchard Hill is one of the most coveted kind of sweet spots uh, in California, in Napa Valley today. This is gonna be 2012 vintage. There's the magic number, that's the key to it. Now, moving on to Colgan. Do I, does, do I need any more explanation for Colgan? Colgan is one of the most collectible wines in the marketplace today. It's coveted. It's sold at auction. It goes for anywhere from past vintages from, from $500 to $1,000 a bottle. Here we are, we're gonna be pouring it at Zaki's. Where else you can be able to walk into a store and taste Colgan, okay, Colgan. Keep going up the line, it's gonna keep getting better. Then we move on to Dalaval. Dalaval is, you know, sits high above the, um, the Silverado Trail, one of the first California cold cabernets. I remember selling this when I first started at Zaki's 20 years ago. And believe it or not, I've only sold the Napa Valley capsule for about $50 a bottle. It's, uh, it kind of dates myself when I say that. But that, this is a great project, obviously, that the Dalaval is Andy Erickson, a famed uh, French onologist, Michelle Roland. These are spectacular. Then, moving on down the line, keeps getting better, we're going to Levy and McClellan. Uh, Bob Levy is, uh, is the mastermind and winemaker behind Harlan. Ever heard of Harlan? Well, this is his project. Uh, this, they planted their vines in 1999, so it's got some age to it, but not that old. And this is, we're gonna be showing the 2009s from them. You know, when we talk about Levy McClellan, you know, you're talking about wineries that literally make like hundreds and hundreds of cases, not thousands and thousands. Then, moving down the line, get, keeps going back up. We're going to Sloan. Never heard of Sloan? Well, that's probably because this is one of the mailing list cult cabernets that there's like, you know, the whole production is, you know, you're talking about, again, hundreds of cases, and we're gonna be showing their, their 99 point wine, which hasn't been shown anywhere. Then, piece de resistance. Ever heard of Screaming Eagle? Screaming Eagle is probably one of the most famous and most renowned, uh, you know, California cult cabernets, and you don't see it because it's mailing list only, there's only a couple hundred cases, it's just not out there. Now we're gonna be showing the second flight, which is their Merlot dominated project. It's relatively new for them, it's very exciting. Like I said, I dare you to find another store in America where you have an opportunity to taste this wine. Then, then once you've been dared to that, look at the collection of these wines. Saturday, November 14th, you wanna be in the store. I don't know if we'll ever be able to do this again. This is gonna be the California Cult Cabernet tasting to be at. We hope to see you here.